the most hated. The internet been going crazy. We're going to do a shirt. <laughs> he is the number one hater for oh real. <laughs> Remember this, girl. Hey. None of you can be first. <laughs> all of you can be next. They called you old. Man, <laughs> listen here. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. This is like refreshing on, rain, on, bro. On, on, Come on. Listen here, man. I'm going to live up the hate of your team. I'm going to give a big shout out, man, to the number one hater, man. You know what I'm saying? What, what are you pressing? The, 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 the <laughs> absolute number one. Hey. Look, look. I said number rude. Num number one. Number one hater. Back on that bullshit from last week. Number one <laughs> hater in, in, in this uh, internet stratosphere, if you will. Hey, you man. put it on. You put some like, extra letters. Yes. It's called, it's yes. called reality for people. <laughs> hey, look, 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 look. This is episode. I haven't even looked at that clip in again. 205. <laughs> and we want to shout it's out bad. everybody on YouTube, everybody um, on the IG. Listen here, man. <laughs> Fucking um, comedians. First of all, the YouTube is crazy. I don't like y'all need to really tap into these YouTube shorts. Um, your statements on age limits. Age limits was crazy. I said a buck twenty, buck forty. Um, that's IG. That the the comments on people did not like that. What's, what's happening in the LA? Oh, that oh, bullshit! That bullshit! Oh, oh man, you know you what? had some cosigns though. There was some no, people. Was, were, a lot. There like, were people that would, that absolutely agreed. Um, I want to read something, man. They don't and like the messenger. That's all it this, is. This. <laughs> <laughs> I think they also disagree with the, the message. The message. Though. Fuck it's them. Both, it's both. All right, so uh, on on uh, YouTube, right? So the short here we go was um, <laughs> you just choose violence. <laughs> oh. you, right, no, no. If you do this, if you do this, you have to say their username. No, 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 no anonymity because they're not anonymous on there. No, no, no. Facts. So yeah. okay, no, 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 no. Facts. I want, I want to, I want to underscore three nine three. <laughs> right. This was not. This was not even a short. Right. This is somebody who watched the entire show. Right. Um, so shout out to uh, BRBR980, right? Shout out to you, fam. Um, I thought you spelled his name out at first, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so basically, in, in, in like he wrote a dissertation in the comments, right? A who? A dissertation. A dissertation. All right, well, des. At least it's not dissertation. Uh, uh, yeah, right. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you write it at a desk. You know what I'm saying? Take a you see what I did there? I, I'll allow you it. Yeah, thank you. you um, Fire penalty, though. Basically, he's like, look, man, I'm from LA, but. My roots are in Chicago. He was in Chicago. He's like, I feel both points. And he just made it his business to let us know that, okay, look, this is what Nipsey was trying to do. Y'all don't understand what's going on out there in LA. He was like, but I do understand where y'all coming from in Chicago. Um, and I told him, I said, look, man, I appreciate giving some real um, dialect and not just people on the internet. Like he's from there. He was at the concert and it's a lot to read. But <laughs> <laughs> but what, what, what is it really? No, yeah, it, it, it is. is. It's, it's long as shit. I think it was right. Whoa. Um, but oh, that was nasty. <laughs> um, what he said though, he said he said folks are responding to the concert not because it's L.A. but because they appreciate this approach to hip hop that can happen in any city, even Chicago can do this as well. Mm -hmm. He said, I think y'all missed the point somehow, but I love y'all. All right, cool. That right. was that was a good dissertation. It was though. I disagree. Though. I disagree. <laughs> okay, having written a dissertation, that's not a dissertation. No, it was super. That's long. two paragraphs. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot. That's a lot of on, on, on internet, that's a dissertation. Man. You gotta relax. I don't even know what that is. Okay. Yeah, Man, so. yeah. but I mean, again, <laughs> we we can relate to LA, bro. I'm not. We're not gonna know exactly what y'all going through, but there's only one gang culture in America bigger than Chicago gang culture. And guess what it is? Guess where it's at? It's in LA. Goddamn it, we know because y'all were all over fucking news in the '90s. New rain. Early early 2000s. And, you know, we all over the news now. The world was usually all as an example back then. They use us as an example now. So you wait. know, for this kind of shit. So we, we understand what the fuck you talk, what, what's going on. I didn't say it's exactly like that. I just made a point. It was it was good, good shit you wrote down. Okay, so I'm a bit confused about, like, what is it that is the big deal? Is it that there was a concert and there was no violence? Like, what is the... No, well, or, like, the policy if you want to pull. Like, it, it, there's no one, one focal thing to me. That you can pull from that what people want to highlight. People want to say because they got the gang coach together. It's because it can't happen. It's because it's a win for the West Coast. It was so many things people try to say was the reason could be it, but it's all what you think. But nothing is facts, it's just opinion. The fact is he did get people together. So pe people came together, there was no violence. Did did it did it result in in a decrease in violence after the concert? Who knows? I and I don't even want to do a deep dive. I'm just saying that Argue to, yeah, yeah, we got he, to go. he is the number one hater. Again, in, in our community, 
and people <laughs> respect or hate. You know what I'm saying? Your opinions, Either or. right? Uh, so, and again, I just I, I want to highlight people who actually gives some real. Uh, um, insight, right? What if that was Kendrick and he was using an avatar? All right, well, that's shout out to Kendrick. <laughs> that's from Chicago. I was yeah, like, my, my okay. used burner account. Okay, BRBR. That's, that's true. <laughs> but, um, all right, you know what? You know what? That could have been some, some, some historic <laughs> shit happened, and this shit will be in history books, man. Let me let me get these horns together, man, because, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's clap, let's clap it up, man. We're going we to keep these clapping. Right, come on, on. Now, let's go. Oh, am I supposed to clap, too? Let's get to it. You gave us look, the look, 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 look. Golf claps. <laughs> I don't even think... We can actually do a whole show on this shit, but we won't. But let me let me just be clear, all right? All of this hate that's been coming for... or Yeah, for LeBron, um, for the Lakers, for Bronny, um, for the buzz term now, nepotism... <laughs> It is though, ain't it? It's unnecessary. It is. It's unnecessary. Um, again, we're we're <laughs> we're becoming known as the, the the hatred podcast. Reality is a better word. Um, and oh, I don't like that. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> it is reality. But, but the hater podcast. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> like, simply how it's edited. I'm blaming it all on the editor. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, like we want to give we, like critical thinking Whole is, is, stories, is a real bro. thing. Critical thinking is a real thing, and a lot of people do not do critical thinking. And a lot of people haven't been taught how to do critical thinking. I'm right. mad that you keep making direct eye contact with me. I critical this, this think. Is pretty offensive, no, you though. do. You do. Yeah, you I think. Do. Yeah, right? you, yeah, put your eyes over a little further to the left. Oh, that was a little nasty. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just but, want some balance in the eye <laughs> in the eye jams. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But <laughs> so 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 Bronny was drafted number 55 to the Lakers. Uh the the entire draft was trash. <laughs> Garbage, bro. And How this so? is forgive this, me, forgive us. This is the highlight of the draft. A second round pick at number fifty five. The most talked about was thing. the most talked about thing. Oh, yep. I thought he was picked fifty fifth. Not fifty five. No, 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 no. What? No. So in the second round, is, right? So how many? Oh. How many? How many isn't? How many is it total to go through a round? I, I forgot, but it's like thirty. 30 or 31, maybe okay, 49 so to 30 picks in a round. None of, none of this makes sense number to me. So teams. now that makes sense. He's number 55, and then the first round was done, and he's, the second round, yes. okay, got it. Um, and it was two day, a two-day event. They made, they yeah, made the show day. on purpose, though. Yeah. Oh, they knew it was going to happen. They, they know what the fuck they do. We Absolutely. Gonna, especially Absolutely. With, with that new, 70, I think it's $79 billion TV deal they just signed. They just ain't, let's just let's Lakers do it? No, uh, let's NBA be clear, period. people. Oh, nice. Um, there's not a person in the world that you haven't gotten a job for, whether they're family <laughs> or friends or a friend of a friend. Yeah. Um, if your parents have known someone to help you get a job because you motherfuckers didn't go to school <laughs> or have no skill sets. Or lazy. They got you a job. Got you a job because you needed one. This is what business That you didn't is deserve. About. And that you weren't uh that qualified. you weren't eligible or qualified for. They're like, don't worry about your license. <laughs> and, right. <laughs> And this is the difference. <laughs> Bronny is qualified. He can hoop, right? He may not make all of the standards that these analysts and people that put on him yeah. to say, okay, well, he's 6'4". Analytics, analytics part of the That's game. bullshit. Can he hoop? Yes. He got a 40-inch vert, bro. He That's can six hoop. One. What does that mean? He can stand, stand with two feet and just jump straight up. Okay, I'm going to need y'all to use regular words today, okay? Vert vertical, <laughs> vertical jump, okay. You Thank know, you. They, they um, <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't understand. Like, why is this a problem? You know what I mean? And 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 I'm because his dad, bro. He can't change who his daddy was. He can't, and dad and, can change who the son is. And you know what? Some of the major outlets, and I'm surprised. Uh, ESPN, uh, Fox. Why would you be surprised? No, I'm surprised that they didn't go as far as they could have went. Yeah, I'm very surprised because typically they would. Because you know, and look here. This is this is why being in the spotlight. This is why you hope. Our Denzels and Michaels and Princes, our Tupacs, our legends in, in our folklore go to their grave. Our Bill Cosby's, uh, our Kelly's, you know, people that were great to the culture, highly influential in the culture, go to their graves with nothing on their name. Because when things like this happen, nobody can't say shit about you, bro. They can't say shit about Brian. They thought you was fucking Rihanna. He probably was, bro. But guess what? As you should. Yeah, I'm not mad at that at all. What just happened? But guess what? Nothing publicly. They got nothing, nothing public <laughs> on his name. We're talking about how LeBron don't got no dirt on his name. That, in, that NDA is a motherfucker. Bro, you know what I'm saying? So it's now, business. Now your son makes the league. That guy trying to hit your son by saying some whack shit like, uh, hey, man, I know somebody slept with your grandma. Some dumb ass shit like that, though. The, the first motherfucker to say that going to be the next Delonte West out the league. Watch. Y'all nope. keep playing motherfucker. Y'all keep playing up the face of the league. Watch what happened. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm, I'm just so happy he never got to no bullshit in the league, bro. It's not his son now. All you can do is hey, I'm say, hey, y'all, Jordan son never got signed to the NBA. Y'all thought I forgot, <laughs> then y'all. That's the comeback. Mm. Y'all thought I forgot. You know who? Hey, throw this in y'all random ass goat conversation, man. They, MJ don't need no line no more. LeBron line is going back. I'm like, bro, why are they even in the goat conversation? It's, his hair? They, they, that's a, a, a stretch of an example, but it's like oh. they use dumb shit. One, one thing they said was, I'm going to shut the fuck up, was, man, people get, cured, people get cured of Air Jordans. I'm like, how'd that make him the GOAT, bro? That, <laughs> yeah, that's they, weird. Right. That's that stand and, and, shit, though. And so, so this is the internet being stupid, right? That's, I think that's, about that's, that's all that is, right? At the end of the day, Bronny plays to the level of his competition. If you've watched him from sixth grade all the way through high school. He fits where he is, Pauls. And he, he plays where he is. And he he's plays above to average level his competition. Sound bad. He plays to level his competition. Yeah. He's not a he's not a bum. I would ask y'all to ask Dwayne Wade why his son didn't make it. Why his son catch the strays? No, no, no. But if we're making comparisons, he can play though. He can play. And he's he part ownership in the team, too. He's not as good as Bronny. He's not. Didn't get drafted right. He's not. You know what I'm saying? I think about so, that. I'm not for hating the kids today. You can't hate on the kids. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not hating. <laughs> you can't hate on the babies, bro. I'm refruit. Re, oh, grown man. Refruit. I'm, I'm, I'm attacking all of this. this hate. Oh, were you trying to say That's, refute? Refute. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm from, I love you, friend. I'm, I'm from the country. So. Put the, uh, I thought that, you was from the north side. Cuban on top of That's Cuban's, country. boy. That's, Look at all. Keep making up stuff. North side is country. Fuck. But again, they're, they're, they're. I refuse to believe that. Exactly. There are several players. Who, fruit, who, who have had opportunities to use nepotism and they have made it into the league. Why is it a big deal now? Obviously, cool, we go go to race back. It's because it's a black man. At the end of the day, this black man has earned this, this power. He's He's been a face of the league. He's broken records. He's done things that they didn't think would ever happen. And if I could have served on the department with my pops, I probably would have too. <laughs> yes. That'd be you to have fun, dog. Yes. People love that experience, dog. For you real. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, yeah, I can see I, like, I my so, then, on so then he could get you transferred to his district. And pops had juice, bro. <laughs> juice. Pops had juice. And I challenge anybody that think Bronny is trash or that he took somebody's spot. Hey, goddamn it, he did. That's business. And B, <laughs> <laughs> step in front of him. Yeah. Step in front of him. Okay, so so last year, uh, round two fifty five pick was uh, was who? Can y'all remember who that was? Yeah, fuck that ball. No. Okay, uh, Isaiah Wong by the uh, Indiana Pacers. That's why. Fuck, he, that's why he lost the second round this year. Wong, Wong, <laughs> Wong, Wong, gone. Wong, Wong is, is gone. That's, that's a little racist. Wong, Wong is gone, so, and he's so black. So, so Wong is gone. He's a, he's a black yeah. man. Wong is Isaiah gone. Wong. He went to Isaiah, Miami, didn't he? Isaiah Wong. He went to Wong. yeah. He went to Miami. <laughs> yep. Um, that boy know his shit. Come on, Look, man. I'm not on Google. I'm over Okay. Right. <laughs> not on Google, bro. I'm just saying, man. Don't <laughs> don't don't use the term. Heard now the kid my sports, bro. When when you have, I mean, think about this. The organization that he got drafted by Make the smart is, move. is ran by Jeannie Buss, who was her father. Here you go, man. Jerry now, Buss. Jerry Buss. Who he went on a five minute rant when Jerry I called Buss. him about this. You know what he what practiced this spiel. Like, this happens. This happens. It is what it is. No one has been as great as LeBron, and I'm not. I'm not even the biggest LeBron You're fan. Not. But You're at not. the end of the day, this is what black privilege looks like, and y'all need to get used to it, and y'all need to do better. <laughs> y'all need to step y'all game up. Y'all need to work. Y'all need to grind. Y'all need to be able to get up at four or five a.m. in the morning and do what it takes to make shit happen. Y'all not willing to do that. Yeah, or or be or be somebody worth being put on. Right. Go. So it's either either somebody's putting you on or you're the person that's saying, like, look, I'm going to pull some strings to make sure that you're in a place that uh, that you want and that I can make make it happen. I'm doing it now with my cousins in these security gigs. I can't make all the money. I'll share with y'all. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I do it, too, in my network. It's, yeah. it's plenty of people that I could put in certain places, but I will choose the people that I rock with, you know. To do hey. it on purpose. I don't. I don't think that's nepotism. I thought nepotism. I guess it could be uh, positive or negative because I never thought of it like in a positive way. But you usually put on the people that you're closest with and that you trust. Favor for a favor type shit. Fuck all that shit though. Fuck nepotism. Fuck Bronny. Fuck Bron too. Hey man, <laughs> I did security outside of Ross two days this week, bro. Okay. Oh, uh, do you stand right in front and you have to tell people wait until more people leave? I'm not doing that. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I'm not, I, wait, wait, wait. I was at Ross is crazy. 20, 28 East Randolph in front of Ross 
doing a security guard, doing a top flight of the world security guard thing. And let me tell you something. <laughs> I think I'm a strong seven and a half on a scale of one to ten. I'm not ugly. I'm, I'm far from ugly, but I'm not the cutest guy in the world. You know what I'm saying? Half. Half. I got it. I got cologne on, freshly shaved, braid tight. I'm about an eight. I'm about to eight. You got man. on them security Damn, pants. You, you, you went to eight? eight? I'm an eight. Ooh, seven and a half to eight. When I'm feeling good. I get, to speak, I get to speak with a good liner. Gr- I get to speak that motherfucking green and gold. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Mm, that poor green, mm. green is for the money, gold is for the honey. Bishop Magic Don Juan, stop playing with us. Oh, you know I, I was going to Lane Tech. <laughs> <laughs> You're you lame. I, 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 I get to speak that. Man, let me tell you something. When I put that security vest on, these, oh, you B words, <laughs> these people start looking at me like, who is this motherfucking bomb? Wow, look at this loser outside of Ross. Hey, it was some definite. Two and a half and threes walking past me. Like, shorty, you garbage all the way around, except for your shoes and maybe your hair because it's all yours. You, you fucking two and a half. Walk past me and said, <laughs> I was like, one bitch almost spit on me, bro. Then you notice I was there. That's how bad she didn't notice I, I was even there. That just further cemented in my mind that how much you make, how you perceive. A blue collar worker. It, it fucking. It, women look at that shit. They fucking look at that shit, bro. It's so, unreal. So I know you, what I made last year. You being, I'm straight, bro. You, I know the fuck I made last year. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's I mean, what I'm doing for $45 a fucking hour. No, we're, and I'm we're, not doing nothing. We're about to change hands. I'm going to like uh, COO the coup, and I'm giving you CEO status. What I'm saying is, you at 6'5. Bro, 260. 260 and saying that Lost you are five part of points because of that vest. No, no. Hell of Sonic Green's gone. And you saying that you're part of the 1%. Bro. That's, that's what they told me. It's, it's relative, apparently. Uh, bro, I'm there. Look here. First of all, I want to see my barber face that was, looking fresh. That, that had to be humbling. Bro, let me tell you something. It was like, <laughs> security guards, all you motherfuckers that's down this level of employment, fuck y'all. I ain't never come back to see y'all. I'm not, I'm not finna wave <laughs> oh, back to y'all. No. Nothing. Fuck y'all. It, it sucks being down there, bro. Oh. Stay down there by your goddamn self. <laughs> you goddamn losers. Hey, go get two more jobs. Go get two more jobs. Go get two more jobs, man. I work, I work hard at not working, but really working getting the money, though. You motherfuckers, bro. Y'all just, I see where y'all smoke squares and be fat and be fucked up, bro. I see it. Nobody pays y'all no attention. Y'all like the, the anonymous Mr. Nobody's Mrs. Hey, man, look here. Fuck all that shit, bro. I, I put on my motherfucking, uh, my Fonzie eyes of uh, my man with the leather jacket. Fuck, fuck. You know what I'm saying? I put on my, look here. I stared at this bitch down like, oh, this bitch would see me. Sure, you finna get that out Look right past you. Yeah, but I took my chest out, man. Look here. I even hit myself a little motherfucker with Vincent Gentleman Society. Bop, bop. I said, oh, yeah. You finna see me. I had no intention of talking to this motherfucker. You gonna notice me, though. So we walk past. You're not mm. gonna get the door? Bitch, hold on. No, she, I, I you the door, man? You the door. Because usually Ross security guards are pretty uh, chivalrous. Yeah. You the no. door, man. Pretty well, chivalrous. Yeah, yeah. So in high part, in high part, that's what they be on. Ross there ain't no door man there at this one. Matter of uh, fact, they took, they took the door knock off so you can't go to another door. But <laughs> they did though. No bullshit. It's a, <laughs> I'm never going to that Ross. Hey, no, no, no fruit, no bullshit. You have to go there. It's a must. Here's a call to action, y'all. I've never seen no Ross in my life. And this is real, real, real spill. I get there at nine o'clock this morning when it opened at nine this morning to get my little money, 45 an hour. I am somebody. Motherfucking, it is 40 people waiting to get in the motherfucker. Oh yeah. The other day, when I was there, the first day I was there. People was going to hold discount shopping dates, holding hands, kissy face, going to get your key, coming back. I'm looking like, let me go see what's up here. It was a lot of good shit, man. But inside of there, bro. It's is so- this the one with the Popeyes next to it? Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. And it smell like chicken and, on the uh, inside? Uh, uh, I can't shop see, there. See, now you're giving me trauma. Because I'm standing in my fucking jacket. A bitch walks up to me, ooh. A person walks up to me and says, hey, man, <laughs> out the blue. You've never seen me in your fucking life. They say, hey, what Popeyes at? <laughs> I say, What? <laughs> Ask me what Popeyes is. It's just a wild thing on earth, bro. You don't even know me. You know what I'm saying? Because you can smell it. You can't help. So, I, so what's so funny? I asked the manager what's that too. Popeyes? I walked out. Go look for it. I walked. I walked so what's we doing, I went, Shorty? I went upstairs. You're a tour guide. Bro, I'm, I'm a black 311. <laughs> hey, get you out of the state. A living, state, a living 311. I'm like, you go man, there, I sure go there. did ask the manager. I said, where's Popeyes at? He was like, oh, it is next door. I was like, ooh. Hey, the fucked up thing is, I know oh, what this stupid shit. ass shit was. Where's Garrett's? How do I get to the Millennium Where's Park Garrett? Metro it's... Center? I'm looking like, I should call him mine where he's at, motherfucker. I got to ask everything. Everything you could. But not your number. And there's a door. There's <laughs> a motherfucker. Hell no, nah, not my bum ass. Tyrone. I'm, I'm buddy off uh, Lost when Brother Brown had to fuck up teeth. <laughs> right, <he lost>. <laughs> Basically. He lost Brother LP. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're laughing, huh? That's a good one. 
Hey, I used to work loss prevention, bro. Hey, <laughs> look, that shit was too funny, man. Yeah, hey, bro. I, I was old oldest in the little uniform, man. Oh, see. Wait, wait. So they're supposed to call me if somebody's stealing. I called my boss. I said, hey, hey, man. They talking about catching, catching shoplifters. He was like, you know how we do, man. You run, know how run we past do. You, don't run after them. You know what I'm saying? Just snatch the bag <laughs> don't, from don't, do, don't do anything. You go. Oh, this is oh, sure. Shit. All right. Well, you know what? That's Lost interesting. Prevention. Oh my god. That should be the name of the show: Lost Prevention. It, it, Facts, because that's that's a stupid. dope. That's a dope transition. Where's Gary? To uh, hilarious. Trump well, statement about where what, what are black is, jobs? Is this Randolph, bro? Is this Randolph? That's on? a black job. You had a black job. <laughs> you had a black black bro. job. <laughs> bro, that, that's yeah, cool. See, top job. flight is a black job. <laughs> <laughs> Top flight security is a hey, black man. job. Shout out to Trump. Flashlight, bro. Shout out to Trump for this, this motherfucking content, man. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker's <laughs> damn thing. Motherfucker's <laughs> damn thing. <laughs> Yo. Hey, what are black jobs? Security? What's a black job? Give me another one. Uh, front desk at a hotel. Selling plates. Uh, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we used to sell plates in church, but it wasn't on Sunday. Oh. So we would sell plates on Fridays and then like deliver them to people's thing. jobs within a radius. Ooh. That's not bad. No, right, I like yeah, that. no, no. Um, that, but that is a black job selling <laughs> plates. <laughs> if you're at a party, it's a black job to start motherfuckers to dancing, whether you're footworking or a soul train. Oh, line. yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. Is. I can see you, you you kick the party off. Got to. Yep, yep, yep. Sure. I need another one. Um the mac and cheese bring before the cookout. That is a specific job given to somebody in the fucking family. Mm. Everybody shit ain't getting ate. Mm. It is a black job to watch all those damn kids when you're the teenager. Like, that's your Ooh. first black job. <laughs> At the cookout, you gotta watch you, you be like three years older than that. Good call. You know what you to tell them what to do. <laughs> one of them went through puberty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, good call. Good call. Oh, good oh awesome. my God. Hey, the you said he out to Cousin Tasha. Oh, my God. She, hey, she was nine, box was seven. She was babysitting us. I mean, I'm motherfucking four, bro. That's dumb. The whole house she is legal. She had a little black job. Right. Oh, you know, I don't know why somebody left their one-year-old with me. I was like 12 and a half. I had like okay. a one-year-old and a three-year-old. He was almost there. <laughs> the Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime password supplier, brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the ones that, that the plug. The, the, password, the password plugs. <laughs> okay. The password password. plugs, yeah. Yeah. I thought about this list, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, did. Yeah. It was funny to me. What else on the list? So, hey, man, the... Oh, oh, the hood mechanic, I'll say that. That's absolutely. You can definitely oh, do that. Fire. Or at least the person that knows hanging. all of the uh, illegitimate uh, people to hook up your cable. Oh, I got a guy, uh, guy. Yeah, I got a guy, guy. I got a guy, guy. I got a guy, guy. Got a guy, guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fucking, hey. It's funny how you go out with your mother. You go out with your friends. How come it seemed like it's all... There's no designated driver for real. There's a person that drinks less than everybody else. That is true. That's a black job. <laughs> That's a black job. Yes, yes. Black job. Yeah, the least drunk person. Get, hey, we'll pay for your shit, but you can't get fucked up in there, bro. <laughs> Straight yeah. back, back me, though. Hey, you got the motherfucking, you got the cruise oh trip organizer plan. This is a tough job right here. Because you organize the plan of cruise, you get you try to get everybody money, everybody accounted for. <laughs> but what happens when the, when the date is slowly arriving to where you're supposed to leave or go where you're supposed to go? What happens to the number of people that's going to come? They dwindles. They dwindles oh, yeah, every yeah, fucking yeah, time. Yeah. People fall the fuck off, bro. Okay, okay. I see yeah. where you're going. Yeah, I, you're yeah, going. I will that's say that's definitely a black job. Uh, black job is the, uh, the the girl in the crew that can get all the girls in for free and get the dude to get all of the girls' drinks for free. The baddie drink. Ooh, yeah, the, the baddie, yeah. Yeah. Pretty girl. Yeah, shout out to you, ladies. Ooh. You hey, make life uh, the, easy. The motherboard at black churches, bro. That's motherboard. <laughs> There's no motherboard at no other kind of church. Motherboard. <laughs> mother, no mother no what else, do bro. the mothers do? I do. Right, so I, I thought it was interesting that Forbes, of all, of all publications, Decided to explain what a black job is, what Trump what, meant. what Trump meant, right? That Interesting. Man, Wait, who's the author? Uh, let's see here. Sean, uh, Harper. Sean Harper. Let me see who's yeah. Sean Sean while look, you look, read. Yeah. So Sean Harper says, "You good, man? Phone nation. Uh, Shot fired. Black people's relegation <laughs> of underemployment hurts the U.S. economy by weakening <laughs> uh, local communities. Blah 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 blah." He say due to systematic oppression, including the lack of educational opportunities, opportunities and hiring wages and discriminations, yeah, black men in particular are over concentrated in top uh, ten jobs expected to whatever whatever whatever. Absolutely, that's, that's what yeah. It is. That that that's not that's not the part that I wanted to. We'll get to that shit there. Where is it at? So where, where why are you find it? Sean Harper is a contributing author. He's a tenure professor in the Marshall School of Business, Price School of Public Policy, and uh, Rosier School of Education at the University of Southern California. Um, and he writes on everything from DEI, 
to uh, like affirmative action um, and uh, black athletes, allies and progressives, business leadership, all sorts of stuff. All right. So, yeah, here's the part I wanted to highlight. What's his name again, please? Um, his name is Sean Harper. Is he black? He is a black man. Okay. All right, Sean. I know Sean, bro. Sean, Sean. Sean, Sean get you out Sean, of here. Sean, Sean. Right. Sean, Sean. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Don't do Sean like that. No, I, didn't know, Sean, I didn't know it was going that way, brother. I didn't know it was going that way. Shake your ass about it. Yeah, yeah shake your Sean. We not on this, right? Shake your Sean. All right. So, so trash. So, he Sean, says, I'm sorry. Nice. He sorry, says, Mr. Harper. He says, for some viewers, it's raised the question, quote, unquote, what is a black job? But many others knew exactly what the former president meant. <laughs> Who, motherfucker? Hey, that, that shit wasn't funny, bro. It is, but get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he was referring to low pay, low security, and often physically demanding services roles. What happened to Mexico there? Hold on, he, he goes there. Oh my God. The, the, the View co-host uh, Sonny Halston. Is that who? Oh, that's the big who's, bitch. That's big who's chick. black. Who's black. And chick. Anna Navarro, who's that's Latino, Sonny Sonny. Sonny had guys. sharp critiques of Trump's statement the day after the debate. Okay. So are you saying that he's incorrect in his, in his, uh, in his point that people agree? Is that what you're, is that what you're saying? I'm definitely saying he's incorrect. Okay. All right. I'm definitely saying he's I'm incorrect. I'm saying he shouldn't say and, that, that kind of dumb shit at all. Dumb, I'm, like, I'm hmm. also looking for who he's writing for. Forbes, right? So oh, him for, or Trump. I'm talking about Trump. Forbes. He's writing for Forbes. Right. Forbes is speaking on this. And then coincidentally, they have a black man speaking. He's a contributing this. author. This isn't his cool. first article. No, Forbes. absolutely not. Right. But at the end he of writes day, on DEI. Okay. He, wrote, he, write, he writes on equity and inclusion. When I read this, it didn't feel like it was including any of us. It felt I, what dismissive. If if it felt like okay, let me not say too much about how I feel because I'm writing for Forbes and this is a check. Um. So I'll say when when I heard uh the black jobs, I did go to because I I literally have been preparing for African American uh, entrepreneur. African American Business Awareness Month, which is August. I knew that. And so uh, last year, Urban League, Chicago, um, uh, what's the school? Um, Lane Tech. No, Lincoln the Park. college. Malcolm I'm X. Sorry. No. Olive Harvey. Triton. Chicago Cougars, State. Cougars, yes. Chicago, Chicago State. State, Urban Damn. League, and uh, IDOC <laughs> put out a report that's called the Black Business Survey. So it was showing like where we have jobs at. For the most part, it is very clear that we are entry level, low low wage. Um, By choice of force. Uh, I think though. that it is some of it is is both like the uh, the opportunities that are within an area. Then there's educational uh, requirements. There's nepotism as well. Right. So I I'm not offended that he pointed that out because we've been saying this that we are kind of relegated because of educational inequity <clears throat> to low low wage jobs. Okay, Kels, I want you to look at this. I don't know who Ray is. But he says, Ray, boy, Ray, Ray is John also John Ray, John Ray, Ray. a University of Maryland uh, sociology professor, professor <laughs> deems Trump's statement racist and says it should offend all Americans, not just black people. Okay. Um, Let's attack that because I don't like that. What don't, what, what don't you like, though? <laughs> We're not all Americans because what you're doing is when you say all Americans, then you couple us, meaning black. Everybody and else. with all Americans, I see and, what and, and, and that's not there, there's a Black America and there's an America. This is oh, different. There's other America. I you know what I'm saying? That. Don't do that because all Americans don't feel like this was offensive to Black America. I mean, but I don't think all feels anything either way. Two or four free articles. You almost out of them. Who? The bottom and middle. Two out of four free articles. <laughs> <laughs> you almost out of them, bro. <laughs> you like you like him saying you all switch. <laughs> Hey, hey and paywalls hurting him. <laughs> we gonna have like two more Forbes articles. Like at the end of the year, he's gonna save them. I got like what part do you want me to comment on though? Uh, no, I, okay. So then also let, let's let's the fact that that Ray says that uh, his statement is racist, racist, and says it should offend all Americans, not just black people. Uh, I don't know. I, I I don't know like how to comment on that. Like I I will say, is it whack that we don't have um, uh, that we're not present across the employment like spaces? Yes. Like, absolutely. I would say diaspora. Employment diaspora. Yes. Okay. All right. I don't. Some, I don't know. It's, yeah. I've it's kind of like how many how many black detectives do we have? 
right? Mm -hmm. So if we look at the like senior senior yeah. seniority of people within law enforcement, how is it that blacks get into some of these higher administrative positions or so the fire department, right? Like we can't even get the. We know how they get down. Oh my! They sent <laughs> I, somebody they down, allegedly sent people uh, uh, a test results that they failed drug tests that they didn't take. Allegedly, yeah, you know. So, um, should all people be offended? I don't know. I don't. That's Ray's opinion. Okay, so so with this, thank you, Trump. So now we're going to show how <coughs> influential we are because using the hashtag Black Job, hashtag Black Jobs on social media, uh, with physicians, judges, attorneys, accountants, pilots, engineers. We, gonna, we, we gonna, everywhere. We turn, yeah, we're going to turn the internet up. Now, there, there, there are some places where there are a few of us, but we don't make up the majority of, of people we don't in make the United States. Majority anything. Right. So, so if so, I was just, that's true. That is definitely a black job that doesn't pay. Yeah. What? Being incarcerated. That shit right there, bro. True. But because they, there is money that's gotten off of it. It's confusing, bro. Like, what, is, what was you hoping to accomplish by doing that? Like, is it a call to action for what? Am I trying to hate on it? Who, that, Sean, Sean or Ray? Uh, Ray. Ray. Ray Ray. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, is it called to action? Like, what, what is doing black jobs going to get me? This this is like this goes back to our, to our voting conversation. Like, what are the white jobs? Man, fuck it, let's turn it around. What are the white CEO, jobs? CEO. That's easy. CEO. CEO. You a CEO. Okay. I'm yeah. a CEO. You a Fortune, CEO. Fortune 500 positions that they don't, we don't often see a, too, as many black names in as we would like to. You know, shit right. like that. <laughs> but, you know we, but we... But, but, but we are That's crazy though. a Got lot it, of places. I was just talking to a young lady about the number of blacks in environmental space. <clears throat> she was like, you know, um, you know, they don't want us there. And I'm like, well, if you think about how we choose degrees, like eight out of 10 black students that choose biological sciences, like choose pre-med. So that's eight out of 10. So 20% is left to choose any other field in science. Right, which is like vast. And so people select against environmental biology because they select for pharmacy or they select for chemistry or some other field. No, I got you. So it's not a lot of us anyway. And so some of it is like, do we understand like how many of us is there? What are our interests? What's our educational background? What is that we actually want to do? Um, you're not going to see us uh, with a lot of uh a lot of us in some of these higher paying jobs, because like you said, whether it's education, um, nepotism, who you yeah. know. And so, uh, it, it's still feel like they, they put us, they let us get the spaces where they want us at. That's fine. I don't like it, but I can't change it. One generation can't Or you got to force your way. It's, it's going to take multiple generations to change that and, and hashtag and black job, black job. I don't know if it'll do it. Yeah. All right. Cool. It, I ha it has been hilarious seeing the memes. <laughs> Black jobs. <laughs> seeing, yeah. Seeing yeah, people like stand on boardroom tables surrounded by people. It's like I feel like we find the humor in a lot. So a black job is being fucking black. It is a black it's a black You know what I'm saying? It's a black, yeah. it's a black, Everybody, it's a black career, bro. That's you career. said last week. That's a black career. They ain't no insurance for being black. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's real shit. It's dangerous being black. And 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 moving, moving along, you know, man, this podcast for Chicago by Chicago. We like to highlight our influences, <laughs> our tastemakers, and our movies and shakers. You that two segments ago. And then work our way out. <laughs> we and, did, did not. But not work out. You been in the gym? Yeah, I was in the gym yesterday. I was in Yeah, I saw somebody say, say, say I was fat. That was crazy. Are you? Yeah, I mean, not to me. Hey, man, they called me a big bag at least twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a size 12, bro. This motherfucker said not to me. Yeah. Was he fat? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, this this is wild, right? And this what? this is why we cannot let Trump get in fucking office, right? Uh, we got a white couple arrested for allegedly, and I don't even know why y'all use the term allegedly. That's crazy. Like I hate when y'all do that. Uh, using adopted black children as slaves in West fucking Virginia. Now, I need my boy. They look like it. Yeah, I need my boy. I need my boy, uh, Ivo. Irison, Allen, I need look this this, this your town. I know they tried. I, I know they tried to get put it on AI. Yeah, hell yeah, he did though. Yeah, <laughs> go, so hey, go cross know, the judge over. Yeah, I know they tried to get get <laughs> him out of there, man. I know we'll they, the judge up. I know they did you wrong, get more time. man. And you know, look shout, how they look, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, y'all just gonna write a movie? They definitely touched the and, and, and had yeah. these young boys and 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 girls. It was two of them, two children, sixteen counts. Like, this is wild. And they're staying, they 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 have them shacked inside something as big as a fucking garage, a one car garage at that. Human tra trafficking, bad uh, forced labor, gross uh, child neglect, <laughs> uh, falsifying applications, seeking a public defender. 
Who are these? Wait, 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 they got caught and did lie. <laughs> Bruh, now look, these motherfuckers is old. Somebody should have stolen this motherfucker. Like, how old are these children? Do we know that yet? Um, hold Who do you on. think the ring lady is, bro? They were, oh, they were, the they were older. Yeah, so you want to punch her? We don't can don't hit women. Okay, again, older, oh, older. What happened to y'all? Though. Like, so no real conversation. All right, so I, I, look, look, look at, look at, look at these uh, <laughs> Caucasians. Okay, um, criminals. This, Caucasian criminals. See, see. <laughs> All right, this is a problem. Child abusers. White couple. I, actually, people. you know what? They're not married. They call them a couple. White couple arrested. They're probably, relative, they're probably relatives, bro. For allegedly, I, I I have a problem with allegedly. This happened. They've been charged. They've been charged. Yeah. Okay. Using adopted black children. Now, two things I, I, I would like to say before we even really deep dive on this shit. This is why it scares me um, when I know where you're going. White couples adopt consistently black children. Right. I would be. Curious to see how many black couples adopt a white baby, and if they are even allowed to adopt <laughs> Wait a, minute, man. a white baby. What? Think That's... about it. Think about it. How many black couples have tried to adopt white kids? We don't know, right? We need to do. The, do okay, the so more that. than forty percent of adoptions are transracial in nature. Transracial. Yeah, that can be Asian. Okay. So All right. Yeah. So whatever, the whatever, the parents are not the same uh, yeah, yeah. ethnicity as the parent. Bro, so let, let's let's go deeper. The child. Let's let's go deeper and, and and figure out black versus white because this is what this is some bullshit. How do we know how old the children are? Um, no, it just said that there were four children mm-hmm. that were that were involved. How long were they there? This is this is. This yeah, nasty, I think what man. was disturbing is that uh, there were neighbors that had expressed concerns prior, you know, to them actually finding these children. So I'm curious as to like when they went to go do well-being checks, like what were they finding, and how many how how many calls were you know did did this community make trying to help these children, um, you know, and what took the officers so long um, to to bill. rescue them, you know, and it could be anything, you know, like. They were, you know, they saw them moving around or nobody was home or, you know, whatever. It could be a lot of things. It always bothered me. When we, at least when I was younger, I would see white people adopt black kids. Uh, but eventually I stopped giving a fuck about it because these adopted kids had somewhere to go. Uh, and I saw how bad foster homes could be. A mom worked for DCFS. I mean, that's just one angle of it. You know, and some people still see it as weird uh, because you would think that you'll want to see your own people nurtured and fed and taken care of, you know what I'm saying? But it don't always work like that, you know, because you know, it's people alive and well that you know you should be talking to that you don't talk to, you don't fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? So why get somebody else's way of, of having some kind of unity, whether it's just friend to friend or, or uh, parent to child, you know? So it's crazy. A- across the United States in 2017 and 2019, that's what this was, uh, the, the uh, years of the report, black children com- uh, comprised 23% of all kids in foster care in 2019 and 22% of all children waiting for adoption at the end of 2019. Relative to these populations, black children were underrepresented among those that were adopted, 18%. Um, so black children do not get adopted at the same rate as white children. And so on some level, I can see why a transracial adoption for a black child is something that would also be supported, oh, right? Because if they're not, if they're being chosen against by other, yeah, yeah, and, and I don't think po- uh, adoption is really popular in our community. Hell no. You know, so what, is, what does that family, say? Hell no. Our family gives you people, the kids that they can take care of. So right. Grandma raised, or auntie raised. You know right. I mean? And I also don't want to, like, this couple is white, but we know that foster care children experience trauma from all ethnicities. Facts. And I think that's also the hard part about this is that it's it's a race issue, but there are children in foster care right now with the same <clears throat> ethnicity experiencing abuse and trauma. True. We're talking about this, but I just want to honor, you know, take care of our kids, you know. Think about this. They've done studies. And this is, I don't know who's in charge, government or or the elites, where they've had white natural born twins and put them in two separate environments to see who would grow up better. One in the hood, one in an affluent neighborhood. Like this, this shit is wild. Like people do this type of shit. Um, so for me, I'm about to put in my application. I want a white baby. I want a white you want baby. Whites only pies too. Yeah. 
White Tony Pies, <laughs> white babies. Said white you know what I'm saying? And, and white Air Force Ones. <laughs> Who right? was that? Was that you know Gump? Now, Gump? If I raise, here's the crazy part. If I raise oh, life. This, yeah. this white child in this black community. We Matt McClung, bro. Can he say the N word? No. What? Why not? He's That's white. a weird question. My to father, ask. his father's black. I'm his father. You gonna say it around him? Your biological Hell yeah, he around me. He his biological father. You don't even say black. it that much. I don't, but I'm just saying if it happens, <laughs> which if it happens, a fake white baby would have would have fake so, new. Uh, so you saying you could truly adopt? Could you adopt a child? Could you could you foster yeah, a child? Because we could do this right nah, now, bro. Nah, you couldn't. Nah, not even if like say, okay, that question. But what if it's a family member close to you that that can fall off? Pass away, whatever, and they can't do it. You wouldn't take my they, kids. They handy, they handy you the child. Like him, he go, he go funds for the baby. For this, this, that, that. Did but you, you got to do the growing up part. Me? So if my kids were smaller and something happened, oh, to I, me, I can't answer two questions. No, no, I'm throwing it in there. <laughs> then think about this relative to me. Would you, would you, would you take one of the G's? All three of them, no. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're a unit. Hell, fucking no. <laughs> get it? Hell get it. No. You didn't get it? No. Oh, I said the G's. They're yeah, a unit. You tried it. Yeah. You get it? G, yeah. It was cute. I give it a seven and a half. It was cute. Yeah, six. It looks like me in the mirror. <laughs> Wait, seven you know, and a half. Seven I, and a half. I see it you looks work, like lost permission. I see you working on your material for what's funny. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to knowledge. Um, but no, nah, man, like, look, at the end of the day, you don't even know what you're getting when you shoot one out your own nuts. Oh you don't. That's true. You know what I'm saying? It is so right. for me to grab another child out somebody else nuts, pause. Oh, that is so, why do you think of it like that? <laughs> you don't know what you're getting. Like this, this wrong, you don't know bro. what this, you're getting with anything. This though. kid could have all kind of DNA shit that, that I don't so know. So you better re reproduce your own problems than <laughs> somebody else's problems. Pour your own problems. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so could you foster this child? Absolutely. Hmm. Absolutely. So, you know, you I thought about it. No, I thought does about it, it. Does, does the age matter? Uh, I actually have thought about uh, teenagers. That's I tough. thought about like That's their tough, like man. their like their last year. Um, if 13. something, yeah, because you know, with, with my situation, I realized that not everybody, uh, you know, home is not always good, and there's nothing wrong, but a living situation is needed, like a change in a living situation. Um, so I have thought about that. I thought about that shit, and I was like, nah, I fuck right to put hands on somebody, man. It looks like <laughs> I don't love them, but you know, the way we parent is different. You never know what kind of parents in that child did or didn't have. Yeah. When, they, when they got abandoned, anything like that, because and I think the age matters because people get set in their fucking ways. Yeah, I would definitely you know? adopt my stepchildren if I you had. Know, any. Now, if a family member, <laughs> I'd be okay say, with that too. Oh shit! My first nephew, uh, Javaka Jr., just had his daughter today. Hey, no, I, congratulations, yeah, my boy! I, I have a great uncle now. You know hey, what I'm saying? So, hold on, man. Tell you something. That's my guy. Ain't tell That's you. my guy. <laughs> That's my guy. That baby got black features. That baby skin is so white. So funny. It is so white. You know what I'm but saying? But I feel like auntie, I can't, I can't wait to hold it, bro. For real. Auntie and uncle took in uh the little cousins. Yeah. You know, like yeah. so that's that's I've seen my family show up for family and it's nothing. You know, like we're 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 going to take care of these children. We're not letting them, you know, move around. And I've seen my family do it on both sides, you know, my dad's side and my mom's side. Look, I'd adopt I'd adopt my nephews, I would. That shit is honorable. My nephew's my niece, I would adopt. It's what? Honorable. He that got it right. Honorable. At the, end, at the end of the day. I'm not. I'm we don't not want you affecting nobody else's kids no more, anyway, bro. I ain't doing not that. With your your kids don't even want you. We don't want them. Right. I don't. I don't want them. <laughs> don't, <laughs> play, don't impart your basketball views on nobody else on earth. And from the from yeah, the, your playlist your, keep your that music, to yourself. Thank you to your motherfucking self. Your love for Tim's. <laughs> this is to your motherfucking self, dog. Your ability to say one sentence every five seconds when you fucked up. Keep that shit to yourself, bro. And white we'll need all that shit, and bro. white baby will be quoting your Benny the to Butcher. The goddamn, right. <laughs> hey, look, I had my grandson this weekend, man. He pissed me off. What did he do? He's different. And I'm not going to tell you what he did because it pissed me off and it's going to make me look bad as a fucking uh, <laughs> father, a grandfather. Oh, wow. Like, no, nah, we're, not, we're not doing it that. It made me look I'll, bad. You yeah. brought it up. Yeah, I did. I just want to throw it out there. Um, in Chicago, old girl <laughs> got cut from uh, the WNBA Chicago Sky. Not traded? Cut. Act. She was cut. Name. Now, I'm not Terminated. sure, I'm not sure oh, how you pronounce his name. Fired. Let go. Terminated. Chopped. Question. Uh, why? Why can't you get traded before you get fired? Because you you're not good enough. Oh. No one wants you. Yeah, if you, if you, if you yeah. if, or your agent ain't got no poor. Yeah. If your um, agent had some poor, you was anybody, you was any kind of good, decent, still serviceable. You got somebody squat, but the WNBA has a few, only a few spots. For How do we that. pronounce that name? Is it Chris? Sure, right. Got, I mean, think though. God Gonzurich. Maybe I don't know. 
It don't matter. Chris. So so this is a young lady. Who, <laughs> CG. She, <laughs> she, she goes viral when she posts her walking Heist, down. Kais, uh, Curse. I'm going to go with Chris. I'm going to go with Chris. Why like, ours at the end, bro? <laughs> no, she's mixed. She's mixed. She's mixed. So this is some white shit. Look at the last name. She had black parents and white yeah. parents. Uh, da- Daddy's definitely black. <laughs> Daddy's definitely black. What's this young young lady? Um, anyway, oh she got cut. Kairose Gondrizic. And Yo, for y'all to live in she, a... She, I cannot take y'all. She was seen with uh, your, your man's Jalen Brown. You know what I'm saying? Um, she can hoop. She good. You know what I mean? Down, it's man. interesting to me. Now, it, it makes me think about, are there too many egos in that locker room right now with the Chicago Sky and... All of the pub, 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 publicity that they're getting. Um, is there too much? Do women have ego, right? And how does that work? <laughs> they're human. We're okay. human. So I do not she, like that photo of her, though. They could have shown us better. She like, goes more. viral with, with her outfits to the game every time she posts. Um, I'm not even sure what her stats are, but I thought it was one weird. Point, one rebound, one assist. Oh, what well, shit? Get your ass out of here! Then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was tragic, bro. Yeah, make make room for Angel. It was, it was you know tragic, I mean? bro. Very. I mean, but if, if the a purpose is to get, did I cut you off? No. If the purpose is to get attention, you know, you she was a former keep, first round pick too. Why to keep me. your viral players? You know, if she's known for being viral and not really for her stats, but that shows the sky kind of trying to win, and they're not really that good, no way. But it's kind of hustling backwards unless they got something better or they don't need oh. it anymore. She's she's actually fine. Let me be clear. Oh, she's very decent, bro. Yeah, she's drop dead gorgeous. Yeah, but apparently thirty nine thousand followers. So so how yeah. how how long was she in the uh, league? Did maybe she make it more than a was year? It, was it, I think it was maybe. Three or four and years. she got the CBS. That's uh, cocky ball like it stands, people. Well, what do you? Uh, <laughs> could you could, could could you see her as a uh, uh, hey, what man. is it correspondent? For sure. See her on yeah. For sure. For sure. What do they take though? They don't even to be no more. What, to some, be a correspondent? Some, some of these people they, they have out don't they don't be on nothing. Yeah, I mean, they look, don't be on nothing. I can see, I can see, I definitely see her on TV. So she when has I style. when I when I first saw her, I ain't seen like, her. My fault. I ain't oh. seen her. <laughs> I'm like, damn, did they get rid of her? Cause she she out here flying her 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 uh, social media is popping, and then that is so simple. It is super simple, right? And then okay, I'll, she's not. She's producing, a professional basketball. Right? But she's, she's a professional. Pro- but, she's not producing. But the fact that you first assumed yes. it has something to do with her social media, you just totally erased the fact that she was Three, a professional basketball no player. No, I erased the fact that she wasn't producing. Oh, I didn't think about the fact. Yeah, that you forgot that she had a whole job. Oh, yeah, that she's really bad though. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's bad. beautiful. Yeah, she good. You know I wonder. So I wonder what do you do after? Imagine, you? imagine a mom playing her in basketball and losing, bro. She do it in heels too, red bottoms. All right, here here are the stats. Her 1.7. One rebound. One rebound. One assist. One assist per game left her expendable. And, that, and now there's a deeper conversation. At That's the end two, of the day. Two points, bro. Give, her, give it that. So, so, Are we going to round up? So just, up. just to be clear, under underperformance over how many years? Four. Three or three or four years they gave yeah, her she, three. She, she should have been asked. They gave her three, three or four chances that she didn't produce. Yeah. I'm just saying. You should have been asked, Shorty. Yeah, take take heed, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you talking to. <laughs> take <laughs> heed in reference to. <laughs> hey, and again, say fans are sad, be sad to see her go. Which fans? Yeah, it, the WNBA yeah, fans ain't what, sad to see her go. I'll, I'll, we didn't even put up our turnovers, man. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's the turnover? When you turn the ball over. Oh, is yeah. it high? It sh- it should never be high. Oh, what are my stats? Zero. If you if y'all would have give me stats, what am I? What are my stats? Mm-hmm. Uh, points. She averaged one turnover game too, bro. She had, she had to do a cardio, bro. She got one one. <laughs> um, you know what? Points. She has to turn over. Hey, hold on, fam. I would definitely give you six man of the year. What's the six man? The most important person coming off the bench. Oh, okay. Um, I would give you defensive player of the year as well. <laughs> I am Rodman. You know what I'm saying? Like you're an, you're an asset. We can't lose you. I, 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 I'll be honest. I'll be honest. You know what I mean? Uh, it's it's necessary so that you're here. You know what I mean? Oh uh, well, we'll miss you. What's her well, name? I guess WNBA won't. Chris. Yeah. Chris. Sorry, Chris. Okay. I don't ever want to be fired and everybody know about it. Like, uh, we have let her go. You know, everybody. Well, everybody. Everybody's everybody is different. Like we're just everybody, the hood. everybody yeah. is different. We're just the hood. The hood, you up, the, you, the hood know you got fired. <laughs> um, what's the worst job you got fired from, and how how'd it happen? 
Have you ever gotten fired? Ooh, I think I just, oh, I got fired from one job for stealing. <laughs> <laughs> I was stealing. But this time it was not me, bro. It was not me. I was new. I was new. I needed some cash. I won't I won't finna sell no ass. I won't finna sell no dope. You know, I won't finna, I won't finna slang no meat, bro. I'm just gonna work out a job, you know. Do honest living, man. I applied at TCF Bank. Or t- what the fuck you call that shit though? Twin Cities Federal Bank. The one in Jules Miro's Park, man. And like the first I got fired on Christmas, dog. <laughs> I got fired on fucking Christmas, bro. They, they didn't love you. Yo, you could get that one last little check. You know what I'm saying? Hey, a motherfucker, a guy that was transitioning to be a woman, I thought he was a nice guy, girl. What the fuck? He wasn't there yet, so I don't know what to call him. I don't even care to call him anything uh, because he fucked me over. Pause. That was the terrible. The story just <laughs> <What's the worst? laughs> He did me wrong. I mean, wait, wait. <laughs> What? <laughs> you didn't get fired. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, hey. No. Oh, wait. First of all, we're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Hey. Continue. Hey. hey, man. So, at the end of each day, you got to count to a drawdown, right? How much money you made worth the transaction right. slips. I was 500 short. I'm Damn, I'm, 500? I'm, wow. Not five, cent, not five singles? 500, bro. I was 500 down, bro. I'm looking like... I didn't take this shit. You were a teller. <laughs> yeah. I started checking my pockets and shit looking like, no, man, I didn't take this shit, bro. I don't know if it's the same shit. You were set up. Hey, I want everybody to know, Boston cannot count. <laughs> He's 500 down. Somebody came up that day. Hey, Get bro. a blessing. Ray, Ray Park ass, that motherfucker, Joe, he, she got me, bro. She, he got me, bro. I, I said, what that's the only thing. What you the next time? They, they got me that day, bro. They got you. Yep. You and went plural the last time. I can't because, <laughs> I don't uh, have to call these people. A, a real he, she? He was transitioned from he being said, a man he, woman. Said, he said that they yeah. were, uh, it was a, a trans woman. Yeah, so fucking. <laughs> it happened It happened a week before Christmas. They're trying to investigate. See what happened. And investigate. It ended on, it ended on Christmas, ironically. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? Did he Ray said, well, have to let you go? May he say, I came in on time. It was snowing like a motherfucker that day. <laughs> I came in, ugly ass little sweater, dressed up dress shirt. Kind of probably was dirty as fuck. Pan probably wasn't on shit. She wasn't, definitely wasn't on shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing there. My man, the boss came out. A black dude, too. I said, you motherfuckers. Y'all said a brother to do it. <laughs> okay. He said, hey, man, let me holler at you real quick. I said, cool, you know? It's too many employees. I'm finna go home or something. I went home for good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, for good, goddamn! He's like, hey, you ain't got to come back no more. You ain't got to come back no. That was smooth. Yo, at least they didn't press charges because five hundred dollars is, you know, yeah, could, that's yeah. called larceny. <laughs> grand, grand larceny. Actually. Never spent it. And now look at you, lost prevention for Ross. This is real <laughs> ironic. <laughs> hey, I love it. Oh, uh, all right, fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm going random as fuck. Uh, <laughs> that was a great story. Real conversation, all right? And I want people to be honest. Yeah, the no, no, glory hole. Well, damn. <laughs> Where'd that come from? This, this, this real shit, though. <laughs> I mean, I, like, you started it. I mean, going to a glory hole means like this is very intentional. So, no, bro. All right. I don't know a y'all, spot. Y'all boring. I don't know a spot where there's glory hole. I'm boring as hell. But. Just forget my dick sucked by something. My hole is glorious. Something sucked my dick that time. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Cousin. No, no. Wait a minute. No. I was first of all, insured. It was all women, though. I was insured. Oh no. Give me a female llama. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Down with bestiality. Let's let's, so horrible. Let's go back to our twenties. Let's go back to our twenties, mid twenties, right? Maybe even early thirties, right? In the club. (laughs) How did you know a motherfucker? Was coming home with you? What do you mean? You said how, what? like how do how do I know? Like, you had him in the bag. How'd you know? How how did you know? Like did you bag a motherfucker or were you bagged first night? Uh, what? Why you keep adding on new stuff? <laughs> no, I'm saying because, because he's the worst he the interviewer <laughs> ever. Like, I'm like because, that's because, a totally different question right, than you okay, just asked. Right, okay, fuck it then. Fuck it then. Fuck it then. Okay, so uh, have you have you been taken <laughs> home first night? You know what I mean? And got it in. From a club? Yeah. No. No, not not. Oh, that's boring. No. So I will say I I did I did meet this guy, not meet, um, in a club. It was him and all his homies. You know, college drinks are like a dollar per drink, right? And college is when it goes down. Yeah, well, Dangerous. I bought the whole table drinks, right? So all of ten dollars, and they don't know where it come where, where it came from. So at the end of the night, it's the beginning of a porn movie, right? Yeah. Sounds at, like it. Jesus at Christ. The, at the at the end of the night, 
um, I kind of walked up to the group and I to the dude that I that I was checking out and I said, uh, did you enjoy your drink? And everybody looked and I just ignored everybody and I just took my number and I was like, you smoke? I was like, roll up. And then. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's my runaway girl shit. So, yeah. that, I mean, I that's low key first night. Yeah. So mm. you were the aggressor. Why I got to be aggressor? Whatever. The initiator. You're initiator. Yeah, okay. yeah. The, the other one I did was I saw this really fly dude there at the mall. More. Yeah. And because uh, I was I was working on my pickup game. And um, that's the thing. he was in the pet store. And he had this beautiful, like, dark, curly hair. He's Panamanian. And so I sat down and kind of waited on him. And when I saw him come out, I, like, started to walk with my bags, like, in front of him. And You're I, like, dropped the bag. You're a fucking stalker. I'm, like, an anti-stalker. Okay. Yeah, I allowed myself to be followed. <laughs> I am praying today. I done walked right past the motherfucking bag. <laughs> Fuck around with you. It's a little too much work for a number. <laughs> a little too much work, man. So we ended up, like, uh, dating for, like, three years. Damn. He was a good, good, good dude. No, nah, I, mean, I want the ratchet shit, man. It was good. <laughs> it was great, man. Look here. Sometimes, he just want to live through us. Sometimes it's nice to be a seven and a half. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what that so like. You, you get pity. You get pity pity <laughs> and, pleasure. In no way, shape, People that just kind of like you, you know what, what I'm saying? What is pity pleasure? It's like my fuck just give you some because they feel bad for you because you don't get enough coochie. Or, As a seven or, and a half? Or female attention. Or you don't get enough head or something like that. They, they give it to you. Is that a thing? Okay, my life has been, it's been a wild ride. Oh, wow, right, Amara man. looks I, so I, jealous I'm right now. I'm okay with that shit, but like the most, the most spontaneous shit always. I let y'all know in the group chat. Sometimes they happen. Sometimes I don't. The most spontaneous shit <laughs> be happening to me. You know what I'm saying? I can be just out to get, let's say, some fish from somewhere or some chicken from somewhere. I end up with a blowjob. I'm like, bro, life ain't safe. That sounds like a prostitute. I don't understand. <laughs> Treat no, her like I, a I, prostitute. <laughs> like, I didn't pay for I don't, it. I don't understand. Like you know, what I mean, don't, don't just get your chicken and your fish. And ride past. Get some mouth. You know what I'm saying? Madison Plaster and be like, oh yeah, shorty, let me get this before I go home. It wasn't Madison Plaster, you know. <laughs> tell you that much, but you never stick me in the mud. <laughs> gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I was saying? just saying, man. Look, nah, I'm, we all just ratchet shit. Women, are, club, women are sexually liberated. I can, yeah. I can, I can I'm not see. mad at that. Yeah. I, I, and I understand why the little boys these days, the younger men these days don't value women or, or understand womanhood or understand or appreciate sex the way I think we did or we valued it going to because it seems like it's given away. It's marketed so freely everywhere. It seems to be given away so freely. If you listen to these shorties talk, you got to air just freeze it in the wind, bro. Uh, you see what motivates a lot of these motherfuckers a lot of times. It, it's just sexual implications on a lot that, of things. And I, ain't, I ain't shaming because sex is a wonderful thing, bro, but it can't be the first thing. I, yeah, no, I think we, now we, that you got my chart on your phone, it makes it a lot uh, a lot more like safer for people to be like, check out my chart. But studies say, though, if you've been raw dogging since the beginning, your immune system is built up a little bit higher. Uh, <laughs> You don't catch me that I love these, it. Bro. <laughs> okay. Speaking I of the raw, raw dog king, right? <laughs> so there's a new trend. Did y'all plan that? There's a new trend. No. Uh, it's called raw dogging on flights. This is the dumbest shit what does that I've mean? ever fucking heard in my life. Yeah, I don't understand it. So basically, you get on a flight. You don't talk to anyone. Oh, yeah. You don't look at anything. Like a diet, a flight diet. You just sit there with your eyes open and see if you can stay up for the whole flight. And they're calling this raw dogging. I don't get it. I don't like the fact that they've appropriated that word. Talk about there you go. It. There you because that is a very clear Sacred. cultural word. It is. Sacred it is. dust. And then you raw it. dog her? Did you let him raw dog you? Man, bro. <laughs> Sacred to the culture, man. This is appropriation that's fine. You should be mad about this, bro. Who even fight. made that I word am. up? I am. So look, look what it says. Raw dogging on flights. Raw dogging or barebacking. They so, really so, try so, it. So, they so when you it. when you say raw dogging, when you say raw dogging, you're talking to the black population. Are we sure that this is not the onion? This is not like no. When you say when you say uh, bear, barebacking, okay, you're talking to the white audience. So this is how the black and white audience comes together. Right? Who wrote this article? All right, let's get into it. Uh, Matthew Clint. Matthew Clint. Matthew. Let's look at Matthew Clint. Who told- I don't want to know about no motherfucking Matthew Clint, bro. I want to. I want to see what else Matthew writes because right, if so you Matthew, went from bro. writing about politics to raw dogging on flights, so no like moving, you need no some talking. extra money, freelance writing. No food, no drinks, no IFE screens. How could that even no be considered talking, raw dogging? No moving. What the what you just? What the fuck you want to play for? That's not my definition of raw dog. Raw dogging at is all. up. Down, left, right. You know what I'm saying? I so thought it was no sex with no condom. Facts. Yeah, I thought that's, that's just that's what, what it was. Talking like, about, but he, he talking about hitting. Hey, man. Yeah, you see what I did there? Oh, my God, yeah. bro. 
I hate rap. <laughs> I hate what rap did to you, man. This is fucked up. I hate what rap did and, to you. And, I hate what rap did to you, man. And I hate and I hate TikTok for this because they're promoting this shit. This is the new trend. On Would TikTok. you do it? Hell, fuck it up. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to fuck this shit. Because the flight goes to sleep. I take my drinks before I get on the flight. Maybe I have one. I pass out. Hopefully, you get me there. I land, get one more, and then I'm to the, my, my telly on my airplane. Wait, so apparently, raw dogging is like used in lots of different ways. Like, wait, so you're not using any NyQuil cough drops, not even any tea? Nah, bro, I'm straight raw dogging this cold. Have white, you white, ever white used people. raw dog in another, like. If I did, I'd be dead. I got real, I got real soldiers around me. You just gonna oh, raw dog this, that boiling oil like that? What? All right, so so this white boy says, oil, just raw dog the flight from Orlando to LA. No water, no snacks, no oh, music, no entertainment. Okay. Seat fully upright. The power of the mind has no limits. Stay hard. So he's stay meditating. Hard. What are you talking about staying hard for? No, you're just sitting there <laughs> no. doing nothing. The last part he got right, stay hard. If you're really raw dogging, stay hard, bro. The rest of the shit can store in the garbage. My gosh. Yeah, I'm <laughs> so confused as to how this word got associated with this act. With because the, everybody wants to be black until it's time to be black. Look at this goofy motherfucker here. <laughs> look, at, look at this. What's you what you doing? You and your mom, goofy fan. My mom's beige flag. Fuck your mom and you. But okay, so so is is it is it that you novel? That is it that novel to not do anything on a flight but stay awake like yes right because 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 of how society is working right now everybody is on all yep. the time right so this is them testing their themselves gen z uh the new the new alpha gen x so the this, art of the art of doing nothing the art of doing nothing okay well there's it's competitions in other countries well like like uh of doing nothing that's stupid he says a new personal best fuck out of here no headphones, no movie, no water, no nothing. Okay, well let's be let's 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 look at this. You say how long? Pause. I mean two minutes. <laughs> you said thirty minute flight. He said seven hours. That's a long. Oh, seven, so what you say that? so I can see oh, this yeah, as yeah, a yeah. practice of um, mindfulness or meditation, right? Yeah, you where know. you where you're practicing uh, disconnecting from your physical body, not being distracted by it, and purposely keeping your attention in the direction that you want, which is. Not very easy, and a lot of people should practice it more often. I'd rather give a stewardess practice. Oh and my god! Snacks. You rather raw dog the stewardess? Nah, let me get let me get these let me get these mile high miles. Let me talk about it. Let me look here. Oh, everything. Give me two. Give me two of the little cookie things. The little uh, <laughs> Bavita. Give me two of the Bavita joints, man. I'm putting a smash down. <laughs> okay, wait. Are you, are you? A, are you? Are you? <laughs> this gonna sound bad. I was gonna say, are you a cookie or nuts guy or the plane? Definitely cookie. <laughs> Pink was in the plastic bag. Stop talking to me. <laughs> no, no, I'm all like, just give me snacks. Find these snakes on a plane looking at <laughs> You know, I always ask the stewardess, can I get both? This I don't have to yes. have, I don't want to decide between cookies Wait, and corn nuts. Do you hate when the stewardess, you ask for like a, a pop, right? A soda for you motherfuckers that's not from the areas. <laughs> you know, and she pour half in the cup, just give you the cup, and don't give you the can. You better Fox. give me that motherfucking can. Give me the whole shit. You, you gotta ask for it. Because they trash. will, they will divvy it up. Hey, they will raw stupid. dog your, your when, when they do that, you know what I do? Once they go sit back down, I say, excuse me, can I get another one? <laughs> you know, I, I have another motherfucking so cash, you know what I mean? Now they open a Y'all got plenty in the back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stop playing. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hey, man. So, I'm definitely going to sleep on the flight. I'm definitely I, raw dog. Wait, right, wait. Uh, what seat are y'all? Outside, middle, or window? I'm not sitting between nobody. <laughs> that's that's for the, in, in the name of love. That's it. <laughs> give, me, um, give me the window seat. I lie about having a disability, so I get on first <laughs> row. I want, I want What's wrong front, with I want you? Front motherfucking row, bro. Hey, look here, man. Never traveling with we, you. We be pipping my son, bro. I swear to God. My son going <laughs> As you should. Everywhere, pipping his as ass, boy. He walks through every line on earth. <laughs> right to the front. Right to the front. You know what I'm saying? You be good to go. Man, oh, man. Man, neatly put up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my time, if the pavement is low, bro, my, my shoes be off, bro, everything. I'll be comfortable. <laughs> Shout out to Killer Cam, man. I love Cam, man. Oh my um, goodness. No, so so the flights be my crazy. My face hurts. The flights be crazy. Um raw dog. Hey, they been leave my words alone. Uh, yeah. I, I, that's would, black I don't like vocabulary. It. I don't like it. Knock it off. I don't want to accept it. I don't I think it is. <laughs> we I think it this. is. Yes, this is not okay. And then I don't even want a child saying, like, I'm gonna I'm raw dog down. this straight, mommy. <laughs> gonna, I was raw dogging on the school bus. Damn. Mm, that's Thanks. fair. That's Urgent fair. care. You owe me a lot of business, buddy. <laughs> who came, bad who came up with this shit? I don't know, but I can imagine like parents on road trips. You just got to raw dog it. Hey, man. Ain't no water. No, <laughs> no water, they, no juice, no snacks. They finna kill the pause game with that dumb shit. 
All right. <laughs> Wait, okay. Somebody told me women cannot say pause. Why not? A lot. <laughs> we got into it. They were well, like... Well, then I, I like what you do when you say purr. Yeah, well, they said purr is acceptable, but it's certain things I can't purr on. Which I was can, like, okay. This? I didn't know there was pause in purr politics. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into it then. Fuck, it. fuck what I was gonna do. All right, so look, look. if if you are um, and 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 excuse me if I'm wrong, if you are a butch woman, right? She will say pause. I've heard butch women use the word pause. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But if you're not a butch woman, you're not a, allowed to use pause. Well, that's what I was told that women cannot use pause. She, because I thought it, I thought saying pause is I don't mean it like that. Nah. Because because something comes out in a way that could sound away. Yeah, yeah. So yes, I'm not yes, saying. Yes, right. Yeah, right, but it's right. a very it unique it sound in a way. It's not like anything, but it's just like you know. Uh, All right, look, look, butch women, you're not allowed to dictate <laughs> who can say. Pause. These were men that told me this. They can't. They can't. Thank they you. Can't. They can't. If, I'm sending y'all this clip. So if if, if a woman tells me. Man, though, you know how to handle that wood. I can't say pause. You can say pause, but she can't say pause. Why not? She got to say pause. She would have said it. That's what I, that's what I said. She got to say pause. She said something, something fucked up. I was told that I am not pause worthy because I am not a man. I was not allowed to say pause in this circle. I had to say Somebody pause. Somebody's trying to fuck, man. I had to say there pause. You go. Somebody's trying to fuck, there man. you go. That's there it. you go. We just figured it out. Don't worry about it. Well, well, then here, you walk, do, there, do, you walk, do you walk in there smelling good, looking good. They say, oh, you know what? Anything she says is going to be funny. Do women use pause? In in circles uh, of just no. women. No, I've never even, even as popular as no, it is. not one time. The what? circle you talking about, yeah. Of of uh, butch women, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the the masculine. Yeah, again, again, and, and I'm not I'm not yeah. trying to be disrespectful at all. Two girls together, the masculine one. I hear them saying pause all the time. Yeah, no, and I've because never. they man because they they man with it, the girl be with it too though. Pause, pause. So if you have a group of fems. They cannot use the word. Pause. I don't know. You want I to think, use film? That's it. I, I don't to even it out. Yeah. But, <laughs> but what? But what I realized be, uh, is correct. after like after being on a podcast for now a little bit over a year. And Welcome. We love you. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. What is what is that? Is that what people do? I thought it was too legit. <laughs> too legit to quit. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Take that out. <laughs> No, nope. edit that out. <laughs> um, I real, I realize like uh, when I'm around a lot of men, like people do not expect for me to be able to hold my own in conversation. You're definitely good around men, right? Like, and and it's and it not just dis be dismissive or belittling or like talk about weird stuff and like you know all of that. And um, I don't think that people expect for me to be able to do that. And then when I said pause, literally everybody was like. Oh my God! You almost got initiated. Like what a, just happened? He was in a men's only club. He was the only woman. Oh, well, it was a uh, and it, oof, it oh, was a good night. Was it men's only club there? Well, damn, damn, it was a good night. Hold on, <laughs> y'all. Hey, I got a phone. Gonna, I got a phone. Got party with the mob. What's going on out here? I got I got a phone. I got a phone call from the homie. Like, hey, we got some. Right. We got some dancers coming through. Slide through. Uh, so, question: Is your lady's friends your friends? Hmm. Is your lady's friends your friends? No, those are her friends. Definitely. We, we can be okay. Can be Why cool. your face turn like that? Like, yeah. man, man, you already thinking about somebody you no, don't like. My real life with my face, for real. I don't like that, bro. I, I, I just call three women to be worried. Like, damn. I don't fuck with that one. That one. That one. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when, they, when they show up at game night, you got to work? Like, I'm bro, out. I just don't participate. Fuck about it. Nah, here. because like I got people, game here. Get your motherfucking ass out of here. That's all the game. People it's called tend, they, they tend to protect what they don't want you to know. Right? And if they love what they're in, then they're never going to display their true yep. selves in front of this person that they consider a friend. So do should couples have couple friends? Yes. I don't agree with that. Yes, I no. think so. I think it's cool. What, what's your, your fucking uh, siblings, bro. That's, that's single. They're siblings. It's okay. They're yeah, no. I'm, they're I'm, not married. No, I'm, I'm just saying, like, couple couple friends, right? So, of course, your family. But do you think that you're in a relationship, that you that your relationship ha should have another relationship with people in a relationship? Nah, man. Cause like, couples, like, couples, like... Every now and again. Yeah. Every now and again. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Well, yo, let your friends fall however they may. Couples or single, man. Because, say, me and you, we out somewhere. We out somewhere. We together. And 
it's a couple of people to hang with. I don't fuck with dude. <laughs> right. Or all this bitch just goofy. She irked me. Like, that's not going to work. I ain't going to just sit there and, and be goofy the whole and night with this And pony kick it? Yeah. yeah I feel I, you I on that. do that shit, man. If your, if your single friend make you happy, as long as you ain't out here on 304-isms, fine. <laughs> well, I don't... Okay. All right. Yeah. 305. No, no you know what? <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's that, true, though. That's actually fair, right? Because... All people aren't going to mesh. Mesh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and be good. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, you're you lucky enough to find people that you can travel with and have a good time with, yeah. right? Cool. But I wouldn't force it. Right. Right? I would introduce, right? Your man or your girl be like, yeah, I know I fuck with him. He cool. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But the yeah, moment yeah. you get back home, like, I ain't fuck with him. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're never going after pizza yeah. with him again. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, man. Fuck that, that dude, man. <laughs> Ugly yeah. ass little boy, you all kind of the way home. Hey, look. And then they start questioning, like, why you do that? You don't fuck with him, man. <laughs> you know, the whole round home, you be taking your girl now. It's cancer season, man. Shout out. Shout, oh, yeah, shout, shout out to all the cancers. Yeah, man. Shout out to Titanic. Come back as a crab, then, bro. Shout out to Titanic. Friend of the show, man. Happy birthday. We love Happy you. Birthday. Happy birthday. For sure. Absolutely. Um, oh, daddy's birthday is July 4th. Shout out. Coming yeah. up. Shout out, Pop. Happy, shout out, like, happy heavenly birthday. Changed my life, brother. That's why I love them, man. Yeah, cancer you know. season, man. Cancers are a different type of breed. Something wrong with all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Of course I'm a cancer. Yeah, I like you one day and the next day I don't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> of course I'm a cancer. Sometimes I'm sensitive. Why are you still talking I'm like not. that? Because he gets East Coast kicked in. Yeah. Well, yeah. Of course I'm a cancer. <laughs> I may not call you back. Of course you're what? Hungry. Of course I'm a cancer. I'm not <laughs> feeding her. <laughs> of course I'm a Scorpio. I've been a hundred since day one. Oh, I was supposed to do that. Oh, sorry. 305. <laughs> of course, I'm a cancer. I'm thinking she's dumb as fuck. Oh, my God. That was wow. so rude. Of course, I'm an Aquarius, and I don't care what anybody says. Of course, I'm a Scorpio. I'm a family man, bro. Of course, I'm a cancer. No one loves me. Uh, of course, I'm an Aquarius. I'm a water bearer, and nobody can live without me. Of course, I'm a Scorpio. I don't kiss and tell. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> of course, I'm a cancer. I'm never wrong. <laughs> Of course, I'm an Aquarius. I'm over this. Of course, I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> Arrogant. Why you rub yourself when you said that? Because my knees felt like a pop. <laughs> of course, I'm a Cancer. I cry about myself. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm an Aquarius. I laugh when a mom cries. <laughs> of course, I'm a Scorpio. And we on the motherfucking corner, brothers and sisters. That's it. Of course, I'm a Cancer. We build and we destroy. <laughs> That's Damn. fucked up. Yeah. Of course, I'm a Scorpio. I'm, I'm spoiled. I literally thought we were ending the show with his. And you just had yeah. to one up. He did. He did. Of course, of course that's I'm a cancer. cancer. <laughs> it's cancer season. We out. <laughs> of course, I'm a Scorpio. My playlists are better. <laughs> Easy. His lip quivered. He wanted to say something. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to make it. <sighs> hey, no, 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 no. Where we at? 205. Hey, man. <clears throat> Listen here. We got some big things coming up. Whoa. Per. And. <laughs> We're having a great time out here. <laughs> None of this is gonna make it. <laughs> what um, are we doing? What do we have? Uh, I gotta go and change my clothes. I hate this motherfucking uniform right now. Let me let me look at this. This is garbage. This motherfucking <laughs> count. I take you this smell shit like law. Man, talk about it. What uh, you doing, let's see. Full fest. Relax, Kells. Oh yeah. Relax, Kells. Oh my God. Come on, yo. Like full third fest? annual. F- third what are we annual? doing, yo? Let's get to it. Apparently. Come on, man. Come on. Yo, I'm so excited. We got the third annual full fest popping off this Saturday at Eaton Place Nature Center. Um, super, super cool. We got three stages, 24 DJs, like legit 24 hours of music. Mm. 12 o'clock to 8 o'clock. We'll be on stage every single stage. Uh, I'm not giving you the microphone though. I'm gonna give it to Abasi because my teeth. You you first. Why do you eat the mic? We'll talk about that later. Anyway, tickets are on sale. Full this fest shy. F u l l f e s t. Follow Full us on fest. Instagram. We got ht23 that's pulling up. Gonna share some of their gummies. Um, we got Ooh. Noel. Noel oh, Garcia. for my weed smokers. <laughs> we got uh, Noel Garcia. We got Morris Brewery. Um, shout out to Diversity. Uh, my partners Brian Gorman, uh, Karen with just uh, just sandwiches, and as always, everybody that supports us. Uh, we got Trek who is our major sponsor this year, the Soul Selector DJs. Um, man, I, I wish I could go through all of them, but 20, 24 was a lot. But follow so us on much. Instagram so you can see. Um, and we got some some dope DJs spinning too. Yep. <laughs> cancel season. Of course I'm a cancel. I'm everywhere. No, you're not. Of course I'm a Scorpio. I still listen to R. Kelly. 
Of course, I'm Aquarius. Again, I'm over this. <clears throat> and I'm hungry. Where is craft services? Didn't come through today. Of course, I'm a cancer. I give no fuck. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm a Scorpio. Lemon pepper over everything. <laughs> of course, I'm an Aquarius. I do have a man. <laughs> of course, I'm a cancer. I know when you're lying. <laughs> Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm Why done. you stop? I'm done. Why you stop? Because you play too much. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm a cancer. I play too much. Play too goddamn much. Of course, I'm a cancer. I love you. Oh. Oh. We are exploited.